Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you deleted voice memos from your device in an effort to free up some space but the data file size stayed the same? In this video, I will show you how to fix this problem on your iPhone. Let's go. When you delete voice memos on your iPhone, they stay on the device for 30 days before being permanently removed. This explains why deleting some voice memos does not necessarily free up storage on your device. In order to completely wipe the data on your iPhone, you have two options. Either you manually delete the voice memo files located in the recently deleted folder, or you can configure your voice memo settings to automatically erase the files you removed. To do this, open Settings and locate Voice Memos. Choose Clear Deleted, then set it to Immediately. Another solution is to simply reinstall the Voice Memos app on your iPhone. Before you delete the app, first you have to disable the Voice Memo Sync on your iCloud. While on the Settings main page, tap on your Apple ID, go to iCloud, and then disable the Voice Memos toggle. This way, the previous data will not be restored once you reinstall the application. Next, go to General Settings, navigate to iPhone Storage, choose Voice Memos and tap on Delete App. Once deleted, open the App Store and reinstall the Voice Memos app. Now, return to the iPhone Storage Settings and then click on Voice Memos. As you can see, the data file size has significantly decreased. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.